All right, so we had a ton of water up inside the dump trailer and it was running out as we were driving. So I'm like, hey, while we're on this property, let's just go ahead and lean it up. There's an old gravel road that was in here and uh, let it kind of run out what's a little bit that's left in there. Anyways, I'm gonna set you guys up here real quick. We're here at the corner lot and uh, simply this is the first time we've got to this one this year. Mainly because what we've been going through like the last three weeks. And uh, I'm going to wait on TQ to get over here real quick. I want to say as well, what we're about to talk about isn't going to be easy to talk about. But we'll do our best. And uh, yeah, I guess that'll be what it is. So the first three weeks of our season has been the toughest start to our season we've had. But I don't want this to, to be about us because it's not in reality, it's not about us. Uh, but right before Easter this year, 2023, yeah, I don't know when somebody will be watching this down the road. But uh, right before that, Savannah's younger brother, Jimmy, he went into the hospital uh, not feeling real well. And I'm not going to go into real big details, but uh, it was right before Easter. And he was in there for, what, close to probably three weeks? Yeah. yeah he was in there for close to about three weeks. And... It's currently Monday, and uh, this past Friday uh, morning, Jimmy passed away. And today, believe it or not, is his birthday. He would have been 37? 37. 37. He'd yep. have been 37 today. And, uh, yeah, his, his family, his wife, his three kids, he's got two twin little boys. Five years old five years old and his his oldest son which is he's 11 yep he'll be 12 yeah he uh you know there's still a lot here uh that has to be taken care of and you know that whole thing so i know we haven't been on any of our channels for i don't know three or four days now whatever it's been everything's just been a big blur for us uh trying to get through the season i actually contemplated last week uh, getting rid of a bunch of accounts just because it was it was becoming too much and uh, You know Savannah needed time off to be with her family to take care of things and I was trying to take care of things on our end But it's impossible now for the size of accounts that we have and as many accounts as we have Which is only in the low 40s, but we just have big big properties and uh, It's impossible for one person to take care of you know without uh, Just doing a horrible job so people stepped up and helped us out as well. Uh, Noah, I can't say thank you enough to Noah uh, for coming out and helping us and working with me last week and uh, just helping me get stuff done because me personally, you know, I don't even like saying this because like I said, it's not about us. I kind of felt like in a, I was in a bad spot because I needed to be there to support Savannah. Uh, but I couldn't be because I needed to get our customers taken care of and the jobs taken care of and uh you know we we got everything done the best we could we sent a lot of messages out we kept a lot of customers informed and that's a big thing about our customers and our longtime customers you know they they know if we're not there or something's going on that it's a big deal you know because we're always there we're always you know getting stuff done anytime they ask and you know, a lot of them reached out to us and they said, hey, you know, when you can get here, get here. It'll it'll be OK. A few of them took care of their own properties for a week or two. And uh, yeah. But anyways, the amount of understanding and um, well wishes and prayers and everything that have been shown our way and everything has been amazing. Um, not just for us, but, you know, for his wife, for his kids, my my dad, he's taken it pretty hard and. Yeah. So you guys can imagine how hard this is for anyone, you know, losing a loved one. And, uh, I'm sorry, but, and, uh, you know, especially somebody that's still really young, somebody I went to school with, Savannah's younger brother. She's the oldest of their, their siblings. But, uh, yeah, we wanted to wish Jimmy a happy birthday. You know, he's with Savannah's mom. And I'll just say it like this. Years ago, for longtime subscribers, you guys remember we went through this, what, four or five years ago with your mom. Uh, Jimmy 
we were actually working and you know we hadn't heard from savannah's mom so i want to share this because this is a big deal and i think you called what your dad or brother or something and anyways jimmy ended up going to the house to check on your mom and he actually found daphne savannah's mom after she had her seizure stroke her stroke sorry yeah. and uh i think that played really really heavy on jimmy and he you know he, he you know anybody that goes through something like that i could never imagine he was a mama's boy for sure 100 percent. yeah and uh we have a lot of friends and mutual friends that watch the channel as well and you know even customers that we have that were friends of jimmy's and acquaintances and you know all of that so this video is not easy to make in any sort of way and you know jimmy will be he'll be cremated later today and uh you know we've all we've all said our goodbyes we know he's in a better place now he's with his mom and uh yeah we uh we're up and down i'll say it like that you know savannah's family they're really you know you guys know you know anytime you lose somebody especially somebody so young so close to you a big part of a family uh you know you're gonna you're gonna ride waves it's an up and down emotions you know you you uh you want to focus on the highlights and the positivities and remember them at their best and that's what we're gonna do and you know we'll we'll always shine a light on jimmy and uh you know he was one of my groomsmen in our wedding so i always remember that and uh i thank him for that and anytime i any i ever needed any kind of electrical or you know little jobs done here or there you could count on jimmy and uh he would he would take the shirt off his back to help anybody and uh i remember one one time when we first started dating and you got a flat tire on your car and jimmy helped you yeah with that we were in high school <clears throat> so <laughs> me and savannah just started dating he was a grade below me and we had a class together so you know i had a car at that time he didn't we both really liked cars at the time like fast and the furious and street racing and all of that stuff was really cool when we were in high school and uh he asked me to take him home and then i ended up taking your sister home as well and scared her yeah <laughs> i like to drive fast back then but yeah the first time i took him home i got a flat tire and uh yeah he helped me change it on the side of the road and that was kind of like you know just a memory i almost forgot about that one but that was just kind of person jimmy was super smart guy i mean mechanically inclined electrician you know did masonry with savannah's dad i mean just a super super smart dude i mean very very intelligent could work on anything and fix anything and uh like i said would take the shirt off his back to give it to you or help you out in any way he possibly could and uh yeah we just wanted to share that with you guys we're going to get to work here and uh yeah just thank you all for your thoughts and prayers please continue those thoughts and prayers uh savannah's family you know uh they lost a big part a big part of their heart and uh yeah let's just get to work huh love you get my trimmer warm it up here First things first, got to get the trash out of the ditch. Makes it a lot easier to be able to mow and trim what we can. And I'll talk to you guys here in just one minute exactly why we can't mow down into this entire ditch. If it was a normal ditch, we would definitely be able to.
All right, so real quick, I want to show you because we always get people commenting and say, oh, I just mow that whole thing out, you know? And trust me, if I could, guys, I would. But what you can't see sometimes on video, it's like if you come in here, big old chunks of blacktop all through this ditch. And what happened is this road has broke down over the years and they keep plowing it and fixing it on up through here. Well, it all ends up right into the ditch, okay? So mower blades are about 20 bucks a piece. It takes two of us probably 10 minutes or less to trim this out. So we're willing to go ahead and just trim it rather than get in this ditch and hit, you know, who knows what else is in there. So we mow what we can, what we can see, but a lot of this, I mean, it's all through here, guys, scattered, so. Good job, babe. You too, still leaking. bunch of rain and I got the grass and some mulch back there still from jobs. <laughs> So 
TQ is trying some new pants as well. They're from Duluth Trading. Uh, they didn't have her exact length, so she ordered some. And uh, But these ones, she just folded up the ends, but they kind of look bunched up at the bottom. Very particular on how her pants look. Like most ones, you know. She honestly just likes wearing jeans. I don't think they're horrible, though. She just doesn't like how bunched up the bottoms are near her shoes. So I know the beginning of this video was probably really hard for some of you to watch as it was as hard for us to do. And there's always stuff to learn, guys. And even in business, don't mind my eyeball as well. You're gonna see it's really red. I have a sty in my eye right now. But as business owners, especially like TQ and myself, you know, just a husband and wife team. And for some of you guys and gals out there that might be sole proprietors or, you know, a partnership, this is a life lesson for us. You know, like I stated when I was talking, I was considering getting rid of some accounts. And it was simply, guys, I couldn't do them. It was just too many. It was too much. Uh, and that's just part of it. It's why I really, really focus on our customer service a lot of our customers i know you guys gripe sometimes uh you know because you see the same customers over and over and that's part of lawn care guys this is a repetitive service you're going to see the same accounts every single week we do have accounts that we can't show unfortunately uh, it's just part of it but for the most part you're going to see the same customers and those same customers have been very loyal to us as well and why we were able to get through the situation that we were, I won't say unscathed, because we definitely took some bruises, we definitely took some licks. There were some conversations there that were hard to have with some cu customers. And, uh, you know, not everybody was as, you know, understanding as most were, uh, but we got through it, and that's the biggest thing. But just know, if you're in the same boat as TQ and myself, when life comes at you, because life will happen, you know, you're going to take some bruises, you're going to take some lumps, but you just got to keep on trucking along. You know, if you lose a customer, two customers, five customers, whatever, going through a rough patch because, you know, they want their grass cut now, it's okay. And life will go on, and you will find more lawns and better customers. So I just wanted to share that with you. And, uh... Yeah, this thing's actually cutting a lot nicer for the first cut than I thought it was going to. I did throw a brand new set of blades on this thing first thing this morning because I knew we were coming here. But yeah, it's actually looking really, really nice. blocker closed off now so she's not shooting it out into the road and leaves us a bunch of mess to clean up so you're dispersing those clumps out there all right all we got left to do is get it cleaned off here the mower <laughs> I got a bunch of sticks out there blew the roadway off So 
this area here is all tore up from people pulling in here and dumping, unfortunately. Kind of became a bad problem. Alright everyone, so thank you so much for watching. I'm putting this heat press on my eye, that sty has just been driving me crazy. We did go through our full mowing route today, we just chose not to film and get through it. Super cold day, not a fun day, but uh, yeah, thank you all once again for sticking around and watching the channel, sharing it, liking it, commenting. So please continue to keep Savannah's family in your thoughts and prayers. Sheila, Jimmy's wife, the kids, and uh, Savannah's dad and his brothers and sisters. And a uh, great big happy birthday to Jimmy in heaven. I uh, hope you had a great day with your mom. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQ out. Peace. Bye-bye.